Group 1 car should work. Hybrids would be really good on gas. But try and use harder tires. The tire wear, as you can see, actually I won't tell you, is very, very high. For the license tests, they're, they are very much worth it. Now, if you're not the kind of guy who wants to just get gold because you can, the S license tests give you a Group 3 car if you just complete them. And you can get the Red Bull for all gold, so you know it's a very useful car. Also, if you're going to do that grind race and um, you don't have the Audi unlocked yet, you can always get the 86 Group 4 out of all bronze, but I don't recommend going for gold unless you just want it because the A110 is not that great. Otherwise, IB gives you a Group 4 car as a prize, which is very good, and the Tycon, which is also pretty useful. It's electric and got a lot of torque. Otherwise, these first two licenses are just fine. Also, if you're having a little bit of a struggle with handling your car, using traction control is not shameful at all. Just keep it on low, though, and make sure you tune your cars to be more stable. For the used car dealer, as, I'm, as I believe it works, every day the cars get shuffled out. Anything that says sold out gets shuffled. So tomorrow these two cars will have changed. And then these two cars, or these three cars, limited stock ones, they'll start to go out of stock. And if there is a blue book next to a car in the new dealer, that means you already own it. So don't make the mistake of buying it twice unless you want a second one. So next we go to the cafe here. So sometimes you'll have someone like Jeremy or Chris or another guy who will tell you a bit about your car. Anyways, here are all the menu books. I've completed them all. Go ahead and pause on any of them if you want to see the price cards. So, also the events will give you recommended cars to use. So if you saw any of those cars that you liked or wanted to buy throughout in the prize cars, uh, especially in the menu books, I recommend you don't buy them. Just get it any regular compliant car because you get them for free and some of the cars you have to buy in the used dealer so you can get them fresh and not have to worry about engine wear or rigidity. It gives you hints for everything telling you what cars to use. As you progress, you've got collection photos and you'll get your trophies. So another um, little trick I want to go over with you guys, the tune shop. You're going to want racing tires, especially soft ones. They give you the best grip. Absolutely amazing for racing. You want to get all the speed reductions you can. Of course, this is a race car, so I can't do any of that. Also, ballast weight. It's a very good buy for cars that have very close to perfect 50-50 weight distribution. So you can add just a teeny bit of weight to get there. Power restrictor. Definitely want to buy that. And you also want the fully customizable computer. Thus meaning you can upgrade a car with everything you can. That's the best thing to do, especially for sport races. Upgrade all the biggest performance parts you can. Because then when you use your power restrictor and your uh, ECU tuner to make the car less powerful, your car has more torque than it would if you just upgraded it to the bare minimum. Or the uh, maximum, I should say. Also, 
make sure you don't buy this transmission. You buy this one if you want the seamless shifts. This is the racing sort of sequential transmission. The regular manual transmission is good. You can still adjust the gear ratios, but the shifts are not as instantaneous. Also, this is a very cheap upgrade. Only about, I think they're 2,000 credits, usually. These brake pads are very good. Not to mention, you want to get the carbon ceramics. They're the best brakes in the game. I haven't used nitrous yet, and I know the new body and new engine, uh, they just reset your car to default factory. And intermediate wet tires. Definitely, if you're going to use a car a lot, especially for endurance racing, definitely buy these tires. I've noticed that when the rain grip meter hits past the first bar, intermediate tires are usually your best bet in between there. But if it's getting high and to the point where it's towards the top, you definitely want your heavy wets out. But another trick in the rain, as the rain stops, a racing line will start to dry out. And this you'll notice especially for the um, S, uh, S10 license test where at Spa you have to stay in the dry part of the track and can't touch the rain. Otherwise, you get screwed over. You can switch to the um, soft tires as long as the rain is below the first bar on the grip meter. Legend cars tend to update every couple of days. Currently, this is what they've got in stock. So in a couple of days, they will switch them out. Um, I know that this GT350 is a new arrival. I believe there was something else there. Just, uh, just recently, they sold out. And those cars that are unlimited stock, I think they're bound to uh, go out of stock. Now, I don't know exactly how that works, but um, that's for sure. Brand Central, you've got that little purple mail thingy that's an invite. This is an invite to buy certain special cars. Let's see, we go here to Ferrari. If you look, you have an invitation and it expires on a certain date. Let's go over here and figure out what that's for. See, this invites you to buy their special cars, which are the Law Ferrari, the Enzo, and the FXXK. So if you did not have an invite to buy these cars, these little envelope slots would be gray, and you would be unable to access the cars. But you have the invite that allows you to buy the special car. I'll show you how that works. So you see... Citroen has this Citroen GT road car. It's a special car. I'm going to purchase it. So under nor normal um, circumstances, I would um, be unable to buy this car. And since it's a special edition car, you need an invitation to buy. It will give you a lot of collector's points. And now that I've bought the car, I've got it. And you'll most likely find these invitations in the roulette spins. That's where you also can find engines for engine swaps, parts, and sometimes just some cash. Well, I believe that's all. Um, those are a couple of tips and tricks that can help you in the game. And one last thing to note, in the GT Auto, it's in maintenance and servicing is where you find um, wide bodies. Not every car can have them, but most can. That's also where you service your car. Then for the regular part, the um, customized car section, you can put on wings, change rims, and body kits and stuff. I'll show you how that works. Now not all cars can have a body kit, but most of them can at least have a wing or something changed. As this car, the Citroen, you can't adjust the body parts since it's a special car. But you can put a wing on it, although that just makes it look like a Group 4 car in my opinion. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully these tips help you out with the game. And remember, go ahead, take a look at the menus uh, and see what those prize cars are so you know not to accidentally buy a car you'd win anyways. It saves you a lot of credits. 